Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. This is Take Back Tuesday. Hallelujah. Um, prison ministry with Minister David Bias on tonight. Amen. There's a word from the Lord. Hallelujah. I hope y'all are ready for what the Lord has to say on tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Amen. Praise the Lord, y'all. Come on. Let's give God some glory. Hallelujah. Let's worship him. Let's praise him. Yeah. Let's give him some Hallelujah. honor. Hallelujah. 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 Let's give him glory on tonight. Praise Hallelujah. I don't know about y'all, but I'm excited about what the Lord is doing. Hallelujah. I'm excited about this season. Hallelujah. I'm excited about this dispensation. Hallelujah. Because God is up to something in the lives of his people. Amen. If y'all just hold on. Hallelujah. Your help is on the way. Hallelujah. Come on and bless him on tonight. Give him glory. Hallelujah. God, we thank you on tonight. We bless you. We praise you. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. Hallelujah. For being God and and being God all by yourself, we thank you on tonight. Hallelujah for what it is you're getting ready to do in the lives of your people. God, show up and show out and show off in the name of Jesus. We pray, hallelujah, for Minister David, God. The word that you placed inside of him on tonight, God. Bring it forth with power and authority, God, in the name of Jesus. We come, hallelujah, to bind at the very hand of the enemy that would try to plague, hallelujah, anything that your people are trying to do in this hour. Satan, the Lord rebuke you and the blood be against you in the mighty name of Jesus. You have no power, no authority, and no dominion over the men and women of God. Now, God, bless us, God, as we're here to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Open our hearts and our minds to receive, God, what it is you have for us on tonight. We thank you and we bless you, God, in the mighty name of Jesus for all that you've done and all that you are getting ready to do. I declare and I decree, hallelujah, that every word that's going forth on tonight, hallelujah, it's already done in Jesus' name. I declare and I decree we got the victory in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree that your people are already blessed huh, and highly favored in you, God, in Jesus' name. We thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. We thank you for what you're getting ready to do on tonight. Hallelujah. I'm excited. I've been, my spirit has been on fire all day anticipating what the Lord has to say on tonight. Hallelujah. Because I know God is up to something and he's getting ready to speak real good. Hallelujah. So I hope y'all are ready. I hope you got your Bibles. I hope you got your pen and your paper ready to take notes. Amen. Because I'm excited. I, I got everything together. Amen. And so without further ado, Minister David Bias is coming to give us with thus saith the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory, glory. I give honor to God, our Father, our to you. I give to God, I give to one and only son that was given for us that so he may have a right to life. Now, I please to the to you we're going to get back yeah, Ah, uh, hallelujah. Um, if you could, I just want to turn real fast. I want to turn to the book of Romans, and I just want to look at one verse from Romans. I'm going to turn, we're going to turn a little bit tonight. A little bit tonight. Um, um, the one thing that we're going to talk about tonight, I mean, without a doubt, is purpose. Uh, because we are all here for purpose. We are all here for purpose, uh, for God's purpose. And we're going to read Romans 26, the right, and the only verse we're going to read out of Romans 26 is it says, so we know that the things, that all things, we know that all things go together for the good to them that love God. To them who are born mm -hmm. according to their purpose. So we know that God has called us all according to his purpose. And if, if I can just be real, we got to be real and know that 
you cannot kill food. When God has set a call for a, 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 a situation on your life, it, it is impossible for that situation not to come to pass. In fact, in Jeremiah, the fourth chapter, the 28th verse, God has made it clear that when he has put it something, no, it, 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 it got to come to pass. He will not be sent from you or he will not turn from it. In fact, it says, for this shall the earth mourn and the heaven above be black, because I have spoken it, I have put it, and it will not, and I will, and, and will not be sent from you mm -hmm. when I turn back from it. So I just want to talk a minute tonight from you can't kill and I'm going to look at I'm going to look at the two men. One of the two of my favorite men of the Bible. I'm going to look at Joseph first. I'm going to look at Joseph, and I'm going to look at Mo Moses. In fact, I'm going to go Moses first. If you look at Moses from the time Moses was conceived, from the time he was conceived, he was destined to die. Mm. He was destined uh, by the king Pharaoh, by the king Pharaoh at that time. To be killed. All the children at that time, all Hebrew children. If they were men child, they should have died from the time that they were, from the minute they took their first breath. But I thank God today that we have a God who doesn't look on what man sees, but he looks on the heart of what, 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 what he means. He looks at what he means done in this earth. And Amen. He said Satan was trying to kill Moses, but because of who Moses was called to be, because the purpose that Moses was born to be, he did not die. Because the Moses was sent forth, that he had to come forth and bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt. So, and if you look at that, if you look at your life and the things in your life, we all know that we were born with a purpose or a call in our lives, and we will not leave this earth until God has gotten what he wants from us out of, out of that call and that purpose. And everything, like we talked about last week, Everything that we went through is going to be worth it when we achieve the purpose of what God has called for us to come forth and to be in this lifetime. And then now I'm going to, now I'm going to be got Moses. Let's look at Joseph and everything that Joseph been through. If you know the story, you know the story, you know that Joseph was his faith, was his father's favorite, and his brother's in Haven. And then on top of that, God showed Joseph who he was going to be. And Joseph, like all of us, when we get the call, that we're going to be suffering good, and God has shown this, he told us he was suffering. And the Bible says they hated him yet the more. And when he went one day when they was out and they were doing what they were doing, Joseph's father sent him out to see what his brother was up to. And when they seen Joseph coming, they said, here comes Joseph. And they said some other things, they said some things that we wouldn't make them all do. But they said some things, and they said, how about we just go ahead and end this now and show Joseph? So how many know that when God has a purpose in your life, there was one brother that said, uh-uh, uh-uh, you can't kill Joseph. He didn't know why he was saying it, but he knew that he just couldn't kill So he decided to put Joseph into a pit. So God people that should have been so protected and seen that it could come to pass is the right who we were now just We were now at all with Joseph. And not only was there odds, but then they were told not to kill him because they couldn't kill him because God had a call in his life. They took Joseph into sleep. And when Joseph went into slavery, Joseph just still had that anointing and that call of God in his life there so much that the woman that and the woman of the house that, 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 that Joseph was underneath of, that, that the man had gave Joseph everything, but Joseph was higher than anybody in his house. And even in that, the woman accused Joseph of the most heinous thing that he had ever, that he would ever be accused of, and that was weak. And then Joseph was going into a prison. So everything that we do in this life, we be going through doing things and we going through this life, and everything that we're going through in this life, the Satan is trying to stop us from getting to where God wants us to be. He, however, sorry, we know that we know that he is trying to stop us from be trying to kill what God has already ordained for us to do. Mm. Uh, but how many of us in this night can, tonight can look back over our lives and say, I've been through some things, I've been through some situations, but I just didn't understand why I was coming through. I didn't understand why I was, why I was always being saved. 
God, somebody was always on my side looking out for me. When it should have been this way, it was always turned out to be the other way. When I should have lost this battle, it was always turned out to be for my good. It was because God was showing you right now that you were here and you were appointed to be on this earth for purpose. And you cannot kill the purpose of God. Wow. Oh I want to again, again for a minute look at that. After the queen, so she had the same point, not asking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, that is right. After had the queen, question, 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 for the purpose of saving her people. And she had been got in the palace, and, and you know that if you go to the king, when he hasn't yet called for you, you're really getting yourself at a destiny. Ah, but how many know, just like I said earlier about Moses, and like I said about Joseph, Esther couldn't die because Esther was put there for a purpose. Yeah. Esther was put there to help people may be delivered from whatever, from Haman, you have 60 seconds remaining. Mm. My God. So I stopped by tonight just to let you know that everything that we are going through in this lifetime is all leading up to our purpose. See, we are called to save some folks in this life that nobody else can save them but us. Yeah. See, it, it's some of us on this line that has that got to understand that what everything that I'm going through, I'm going for it for a reason. And yes. I'm going for it because God has set it up so that I can learn who I am and to fulfill the purpose of God. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Yes. My God. Amen. Amen. Everything that we're going through is for somebody else. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm. They act like he was on my word Sunday that I had to give to the church. Why are he talking the same thing I gave to the church on Sunday? My God. Confirmation. You can't kill. The glory. You can't kill purpose. Jesus. Confirmation. Yes. yes. And Hallelujah. And purpose can't even kill purpose. Right. You can't right. kill yourself right. And that's what I said to them on Sunday. You cannot kill yourself right when there's purpose for your life. When God has a purpose mm-hmm. and a plan for your life, you can't even get rid of yourself right. Because you're not going away until you fulfill that purpose, says God. You can't fulfill that purpose. That's, that's right. right. He died here. Wow. He already died for that. So you can't die here. <laughs> I'm on order. That's why. Yeah. My mm-hmm. God. Yes. Oh, this was rich. This was rich. This was rich. He ain't never lied. Moses, Joseph. Wow. Then he said Esther. Let's see, mm-hmm. Moses, Joseph. Esther, yeah, I, that's I, right. I'm, I'm taking notes, y'all. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wait a minute. Hold on. He's calling back now. Hello. You have a prepaid call. You will not be charged for this call. This call is. Didn't really have purpose, not that they didn't have a purpose, but an inmate asked for Maryland Correctional Facility. This call will be recorded and monitored. If you wish to block any future calls, thank you for using Global Tail Link. Amen. Amen. As I was saying, we can't die until we get to the point where we're fulfilling the purpose and the God has placed us in the earth. How many of us on the night know that this could be the peace of death? God told Peter that he would be the church, that he would build, that he would be the rock, that he would build his church upon, and that he would be the hell to prevail against what he was already doing and all things to be done on this earth. He so as I was saying, that it is some of us on the line tonight that God can look at our lives and we just understand that I should have been dead in that situation. I should have been dead in that situation, but it was only by the grace and the purpose of God that I was able to sustain and make it through that in order for me to get where God wants me to be at. Come on. I've got to go through that some children right now that, that are, are going through some things, and we, we, their parents can't get to them, but there is a person on the line that might can get to them. That can, matter of fact, it ain't a mic that can get to them. There are people going through things right now in this lifetime, and they don't understand why they are so willing to be, because you're the one that's going to be the one to save their lives. 
So I want us to know that every woman sees his way, and that's why we should be to arrive in us. As it seems like you're just not going to make it through this situation or that situation, just look back and say, God, I know that I can't go nowhere because I know that you have a plan and a purpose for my life, and I try to fulfill the plan and the purpose for my life before I'm able to go in the end of this heaven. Yes. So, I just want to go to, I just want you to know, as I, as I said, as I said last week, all the times that we went through what we were going through, it wasn't wasted time. Those are the times that God was touching us and preparing us for what we thought to go through. See, there are people, there are mighty roles of people that need to hear what every man has in our to see. Yes. And we are speaking only what they have to fear to God. And when you're speaking the trust and the spirit of God, people need to hear what you got to do. Yes. So we remember everything in your life about our, our purpose and the gates of the hell can't prevail against our purpose. So we can stop the purpose of God. Remember what he told uh, the devil Remember what Satan had God, what Jesus told Satan, when God told Satan when he was about to take out Job, he said, you can do what you want to him, but you can't kill him. Yes. Job had a purpose and a call for his life. Mm. When, when, when the people wanted to kill Paul, they couldn't kill Paul because God had a purpose for the get out of Paul's life. Let's look it up. Let's do it. Look at everybody that's on the line tonight. And he says, God is looking at you and saying, I can't let you take out. Let you out because I have a plan and a purpose. Yes. That life's in a faith. That life's in a real peace. That life right there are going to stop people from committing suicide. Mm. This is what we are called to do. It's right here. The only thing we got to do is keep watching high, knowing that I'm a winner. Yes. That I'm an overcomer. I'm more than an overcomer because of my people. Get to, find, get to God and ask Him what is my people. So that I may walk in my people. I leave you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name, God. Holy brother. If you go to God, make it for my good, and I make the good path. Many people might be saved. There's some word inside of us right now that God is about to bring forth that is going to be the same as you. It's 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 going to be you better speak. My God, it's going to be a good way. The purpose and what they're calling it is not just that we can see. It's not just that we can see. It's that we are getting to honor and save others. We have to understand the will of God for our lives. The will of God for our lives. So important. It is so important. Yes. God ain't bring us out of every. God ain't bring us out of the, the distraction, and the, the dirt that He brought us out of. It, so that He just can sit up here and say, "Oh, I'm saved and I'm holy and I'm sanctified." No, He said, "No, I'm bringing you up so I can bring others." Yes. We are called to be. We are called ministers of reconciliation. We call ministers of reconciliation. Everybody is a minister. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-h
God is saying to put it in. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Coming to see about us. We thank you for coming to see about us. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, God, have thine own way. You are the God of will and the clay. Shame us and mold us and make us to be everything you would have us to be in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, we come down just thanking you, God. Hallelujah. We thank you. Hallelujah for restoration. We thank you for deliverance. We thank you for your healing power, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you that no weapon formed against us will prosper. And every wagon tongue that rises up against us in judgment, thou shalt condemn. We thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, that all things are working for our good. We thank you, Lord God, that you decided to use somebody like us to help your people. We thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to be the remnant on tonight, God. We thank you, hallelujah, for allowing Minister David to speak the word on tonight. God, we pray that you would cover him with the blood. We pray that you would bless him in need, enlarge his territory. Everywhere the soles of his foot shall try, he shall be blessed. Everything his hand set to do, God, he shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you that release is coming up and taking place for him in the name of Jesus. I thank you for his obedience, God, you're about to open the prison doors. I thank you in the name of Jesus, God, that you are about to do it for him like you said you would. I thank you, thank you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For everything that you're doing in his life, God. I thank you, Jesus, Jesus. Yes, Lord God, I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, I bless you. I praise you. I give you honor. I give you glory, Jesus, Jesus. Yes, Lord God, we want to thank you on tonight. We thank you, hallelujah, for the men that are taking their rightful places in you, God. We thank you for the men stepping up to the plate and hearing what the Spirit is saying to the church. We thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, that your men are getting in position, that they're posturing themselves, hallelujah, to cover their homes and cover their wives in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your men, God, hallelujah, that are on the wall, God, on the watch, making sure, hallelujah, that they are staying prayed up and prepared for what's to come. We thank you for your women of God that felt in that robbery, God, to gather on the line tonight, God, to call upon your name, and we are waiting for you to answer. We thank you for your women on tonight, God. They loved you beyond. Hallelujah, God. We thank you for your wailing women that feel they got robbery to get on this line. Hallelujah. And to pray until something happens. We're going to push on tonight. We're going to push on tonight. We're not going to stop, God, until we hear from you. We're not going to stop until you give us a word. We call for peace to be still all across this land. In the name of Jesus, we call for peace to be still in these foreign countries. We cry out for Israel on tonight, God. We cry out for Israel on tonight. We cry out for Israel on tonight, Jesus. I pray, Lord God, that you would cease fire on tonight for them, Lord. Cease fire for them on tonight, Jesus. Cease fire for them on tonight, Lord God. You know all about it. You know what's happening. You know what's taking place. We come in the name of Jesus to rebuke the devil and the devourers in the mighty name of Jesus that would try, hallelujah, to plague the lives of your people. We pray now they die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every foul spirit die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every Every negative spirit die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every negative word curse die by fire in the name of Jesus. Everything that's not like you, Lord, die by fire in the name of Jesus. We call fire to it, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We cut off the head of the devil. 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 In the name of Jesus, we cut off the head of the devil. We cut off the head of the devil. 
in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. We cut off the head of that devil in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, and we thank you for what you're getting ready to do. We anticipate your move. We stand in great expectation, Lord, of you showing up. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, you are a God, hallelujah, of the universe. And we thank you, hallelujah, how you're stretching forth your hands. Hallelujah, all across the United States, all across these different countries. We thank you for stretching forth your hand and dealing with these situations in the name of Jesus. Thank you for stretching forth your hand, God. Hallelujah, blow a fresh wind, God, in the name of Jesus. Blow a fresh wind in the name of Jesus. Blow a fresh wind, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Blow a fresh wind in the name of Jesus. Blow a fresh wind in the name of Jesus. Blow a fresh wind in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, blow a fresh wind in the name of Jesus. Blow a fresh wind in the name of Jesus. Come from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Hallelujah. Blow a fresh wind in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord God, we anticipate your move, Jesus. Blow a fresh wind our way, God. Blow a fresh wind in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord God, blow a fresh wind in the name of Jesus. I see chains breaking. I see chains breaking. I see the chains breaking in the name of Jesus. I see the chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, I see the chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Break every chain on tonight, God. Break every chain on tonight, Jesus. Oh, God, destroy bondage in the name of Jesus. We rebuke and denounce the spirit of bondage in the name of Jesus. We return it to the sender. We we bind every spirit of infirmity. We bind every spirit of sickness and disease. We bind every spirit, hallelujah, that's not like you, God. We bind kidney failure in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, we bind sickle cell spirit in the name of Jesus. We bind every spirit of cancer in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, we bind every spirit of liver disease in the name of Jesus. We bind the spirit of tuberculosis in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, we return these to the sender. They don't belong to us. We return them to the pits of hell in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, we need you now. Send a healing now, God. Send a healing now, Jesus. We call for your healing. We pull down healing in the name of Jesus. We call for healing in the lives of your people. Hallelujah. Your God, we pray in the name of Jesus uh, that you would lose a spirit of good health, uh, lose a spirit of good health, Jesus, uh, lose a spirit of good health, God. Uh, oh, Father God, hallelujah, regulate our minds, Jesus, uh, that we keep our minds stayed on you, uh, keep us focused on the things of God. Uh, you said if we take care of your business, uh, you'll take care of ours. Uh, keep us focused on you, Jesus, uh, don't allow us to lose sight of you, God. Oh, Father God, don't allow us to lose sight of who you are. Don't allow us to lose sight of you, Jesus. Lord God, we need you, Jesus. Hey, God, we need you, Lord. Don't allow us to lose sight of you. God, I pray, regulate our minds. Regulate our minds. Regulate our minds in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood all over our minds. I plead the blood all over our minds. I plead the blood of Jesus all over our minds. I plead the blood of Jesus all over our minds. Have your way, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Have your way. Oh, God, have your way on tonight. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Oh, God, give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Not our will, but let your will be done in the name of Jesus. 
Not our will, Lord God, but let your will be done in the name of Jesus. Not our will, but let your will be done in the name of Jesus. Not my will, Lord God, but let your will be done in the mighty, mighty, mighty name of Jesus. We need you on tonight, God. We need you to come and sit with us, Jesus. We thank you for showing up on tonight, God. We thank you for showing out on tonight, Jesus. We thank you for making ways out of no ways. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. You're a way maker. You're a miracle worker. You're a promise keeper. You're a light in the darkness. Hallelujah. You are that kind of God. And we thank you on tonight, Lord God. We thank you that you had a plan for our lives. We thank you that you know the thoughts that you think towards us. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To bring us to an expected end. God, give us those good thoughts too. Give us those thoughts, God, like you. Let this mind be in us, which was also in Christ. Jesus. Allow us to think like you, Lord. Allow us to walk like you, God. Oh, God, teach us how to be more like you, Jesus. We thank you for thank the prayers you, going up on tonight, God. Thank we thank you, hallelujah, for your prayers that are going up on tonight, God. We thank you for your prayers going up on tonight, Jesus. We thank you that your men and women felt it not robbery to come together, hallelujah, and hear the word from you and to go into prayer. Oh, Lord God, we seal everything we got on tonight in the blood of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, this prayer won't fall to the ground. The word that was spoken on tonight, hallelujah, we will use it, hallelujah, for the days to come. The word that was spoken on tonight, we hid it in our heart that we might not sin against you, Lord. The word that was spoken on tonight, God, we will walk, hallelujah, in the victory, knowing, God, that all things work together for the good of them who love you and who are the called according to your purpose. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord God, we thank you on tonight. We give you honor. We give you glory, Jesus, on tonight. We bless your holy and your righteous name on tonight, God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for what you've done on tonight and what you are doing. I pray, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that everything that went up is already done in Jesus' name. Every prayer that we pray, Lord God, hallelujah, on behalf of our families and your people, it's already done in Jesus' name, God. We thank you for coming to see about us. We thank you for coming to see about us, Lord. We thank you for coming to see about us. You did not have to do it, but we're so glad that you did, God. Thank you for not leaving us clueless, Lord. Thank you for not leaving us clueless, God. Thank you for directing our paths, God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for looking beyond our faults and seeing the need. Thank you, hallelujah, that everywhere the souls of our put your tribe we shall be blessed thank you for enlarging our territory god in the name of jesus thank you for expanding our borders god in the name of jesus thank you father god for taking us father god into these foreign countries and ministering your word hallelujah that your people may be healed delivered and set free we thank you god we thank you because we know that you have a plan, God. We are following you, God, in the name of Jesus. We are following what you tell us to do. We're following where you tell us to go. We're following, God, every instruction given in this Bible, God. We thank you for a plan that was set in motion. 
We thank you, God. We thank you that we can't kill our purpose. (laughs) We thank you that even if we try, we can't kill our purpose. We thank you. Our purpose won't die on the inside of us. Our purpose won't die on the inside of us, but we will share what we have to share and do what we have to do. You already died for this, God. We don't have to die again for you. You already died for it. And we thank you, Lord. We don't take it for granted, God, what you did for us on Calvary's cross. We don't take it for granted what you did for us on the way to the cross, God. We don't take it for granted the lashes and beating that you took on our behalf, God. We don't take it for granted that you died for us. We don't take it for granted, God, that you felt it not robbery, God, to die for us. You decided to die. For that, God, we're grateful. We thank you that you gave us another opportunity, God, to get it right before you. We thank you that you gave us many chances to get it right before you. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Kurunda by the thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We give you honor on tonight and we give you all the glory. You are such an amazing God. We don't take it for granted, Lord God. We don't take it for granted that you died for us. We don't take it for granted, God. Hallelujah. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you with grateful hearts, God, on tonight. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We magnify your name, Jesus. We thank you, Father. We magnify your name, Jesus. We magnify your name, Jesus. We magnify your name, Jesus. We magnify your name, Lord God. 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 We magnify your name, Jesus. We magnify your name, Lord God. 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 We magnify your name, Jesus. Holy one of Israel, we magnify your name, God. Holy one of Israel, we magnify your name, Jesus. Holy one of Israel, we magnify your name, Jesus. We magnify your name, Lord God. We magnify your name, Jesus. We magnify your name, God. We magnify your name, Jesus. We magnify your name, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. We magnify your name, Jesus. Come on, lift your voices. We magnify your name, Jesus. Give a glory. He deserves the glory. We magnify your name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
We magnify your name, God. We magnify your name, Jesus. Yes, Lord God. We magnify your name, Jesus. We magnify your name, Jesus. We magnify your name, Lord God. Ebaso mande ke baso ya mando. Hallelujah, Jesus. We magnify your name, Jesus. E mando. Reke baso kora mande le baso wa. E le baso kora nda ba ye. We magnify your name, Jesus. E mando wa. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. E roko shabande le baso wa. We magnify your name Jesus Mandela Basura by Ye Jesus Yes Lord God Iba Basura Hallelujah Jesus we magnify your name, Jesus. Ebando, ye baso mande le bako. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We magnify your name, Jesus. Ebando, we give you glory, God. Hallelujah. We give you glory, God. Hallelujah. We give you glory. Hallelujah. We give you glory. We give you glory on tonight. We give you glory on tonight, Jesus. We magnify your name, Jesus. Thank you, God. We magnify your name, Jesus. Thank you, God. We magnify your name, Jesus. Thank you, God. We magnify your name, Jesus. We magnify your name, Jesus. No matter what it looks like. Yes, Lord God. We magnify your name, Jesus. We won't turn our backs on you, God. We magnify your name, Jesus. We magnify your name, Jesus. Jesus, hey, Mando. We thank you, God. We magnify your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Yes, Lord. We magnify your name, Jesus. Hey, Mando. Yes, Lord God, we magnify your name, Jesus. We magnify your name, Lord God. We magnify your name, Jesus. We magnify your name, Lord God. Yes, Lord God. Come on and love on him tonight. We magnify your name, Jesus. God, yes, Lord. Hallelujah, God. Yes, Lord Jesus. We magnify your name, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. We magnify your name, Jesus. Roko Shabande. Reke Mando Korabande Le Basoya. We magnify your name, Lord God. Hey, so man. Yes, Lord God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord God. We magnify your name, Jesus. Hey, oh God, we thank you. Yes, Lord God. God, we thank you, Jesus. We magnify your name, Lord God. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. We magnify your name, Jesus. Oh glory, hallelujah. Yes, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, we magnify you your, your name, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. One more time, Lord. We magnify oh, your name, Lord oh, Jesus. We magnify your name, Lord Jesus. We magnify your name, Lord Jesus. We magnify your name, Lord Jesus. We magnify your name, 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 Jesus. We magnify your
Lord God. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory. Yes, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We give you all the glory. Hey, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory. Thank you, God. Yes, Lord God. Hallelujah. We give you the glory, God. And we magnify your name on tonight. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. Yes, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We magnify your name, Lord God. We magnify your name, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, hallelujah. We magnify your name, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord God. We magnify your name, Lord God. Oh, not that we so good. Thank you, Jesus. We magnify your name, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. We magnify your name. 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 Yes. We magnify your name. 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 Yes. We magnify your name. 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 Yes, we magnify your name. We magnify your name. We magnify your name. Hallelujah. We magnify your name, God. Hallelujah. We magnify your name, Jesus. Yes, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you on tonight, God. And we magnify your name. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. We thank you for this prayer on tonight. We thank you for the word of God on tonight, God. We thank you for this encounter on tonight. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, that you showed up and you allowed your glory to reign on us, God. To mm. reign in our homes on tonight. Help we thank us, Lord, you, Jesus. Poor, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank, thank you, Lord. You, I thank you yes. on tonight. Thank you. Thank you. We thank bless you. your name, God. We bless yes. your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank in you. Jesus' name. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 Let me mm. tell y'all something. God is so yes, awesome. Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. He is so awesome. Amen. I kept sitting Thank here and Jesus. I was, I'm obedient to what he told me to do, but I kept saying, Lord, you only want me to sing, we magnify your name. I need to know why. Tell me why, God. So God said, I need you to go to the meaning yeah. and the definition of magnify. <laughs> and it says to make something appear larger <laughs> than it is. <laughs> Especially with a lens oh, or mm. microscope. The camera zoom mode mm. can magnify a certain area if required, right? Then the second definition mm. says to exalt mm. and to glorify. Mm. Praise the Lord and magnify him. So then they have another meaning and it says mm. the original sense of magnify was to praise highly to glorify, to mm. exalt specifically, to praise or mm. render honor to God. Amen. We already know Amen. God is already Amen. large and in charge. Amen. And so he is calling yes. for Amen. us to magnify his name. He's calling for us to praise his yes. name. Amen. And after the word yes. we got on tonight, yes. you can't Amen. kill my purpose. I'm going to magnify him. I'm going to yes. glorify him. I'm going to give him honor because there were times where I wanted to die in my own purpose. But God said, not so. I got too much work for you to do for you to die here. Because I already Amen. died for what you're Amen. going through. Amen. He already died for the things that we're dealing Amen. with. Amen. All we got to do is go through Amen. the process and get to the other side of through. Hallelujah. That's where the purpose yeah, is. That's right. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell y'all. God said, Amen. God said that we must Amen. fulfill the plan and the purpose that he has for our life. <laughs> this is what we got to do, y'all. We got to fulfill the plan and the purpose. And sometimes it seems like it's the hardest task ever. And sometimes it really is the hardest no, 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 no. task ever because we don't know which way to go. We don't know which way to go. But I'm telling you, if you stand yeah. still, yeah. see the salvation of the Lord, get clear instructions, get, prepare yourself for where God is taking you. Amen. Amen. The truth of it is, I feel Amen. like there's really no preparation. Yeah. We, we can never prepare for what God is doing in our lives because God is always strategically doing something. Amen. He has a plan. But if we amen. follow whatever his instructions are, amen, that's our preparation right there to follow him and follow him all the way. Amen. I refuse. Amen. I refuse to kill my purpose. I refuse to let anybody else kill mm. my purpose. Amen. I'm going to live. Yeah. Amen. To see everything that God has called me to do happen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And yeah. so we thank God for Minister David with that word on tonight. Yeah. Hallelujah. We bless God for him. Amen. I knew that something was stirring up inside of him because he texted me this morning and he was like, I'm not working today. And I said, oh, Lord, he's going to be in the presence of the Lord all day long preparing for tonight. And I am excited about what the Lord is doing in his life. Amen. I thank God for him Amen. finding in that robbery. Amen, Amen. To continue to push and to press. Amen. And to be the example. Amen. Yeah. That men need to see. Hallelujah. He's the example that even some of us women need to see. Amen. Hallelujah. And so Amen. I thank God. Amen. I thank God for him on tonight. And I anticipate what's about to happen. I'm telling you, when we was praying, I saw the word release. <laughs> I saw the word release And I saw doors swinging open oh, oh. Hallelujah 
I saw the word release and mm. I saw doors swinging open. And so I'm excited. I saw chains breaking in the spirit. Amen. God is getting ready to do something Amen. so spectacular Amen. and so miraculous. Amen. It is going to blow Amen. the minds of Amen. a lot of people. Amen. Y'all stand in expectation. Amen. Because some, some people ain't going to be ready for what God is getting ready to do for us. <laughs> They're not going to be able to Amen. handle what's coming down the pipe for us. Amen. They're not going to be able to handle when Minister David Byers walk up out of that jail at, down at JCI. Amen. I'm going to be right there with the cameras rolling. Amen. This my brother coming out. I'm going to be right there. Amen. In the front cheering them on. Hallelujah. I'm excited about these doors that are swinging open. It is time for our men, amen, to get up out of them prisons, amen, get back to their homes where yes. they belong and be the head that God amen. has called them to be. Hallelujah. And so I'm Thank excited you, for what the Lord is getting ready to do. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, Thank you, Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. God is up to something, y'all. I'm telling you. There is a it's a rumbling in my spirit. Like my spirit just it just want to take off and just jump around this room. Like I don't know what's going on, but I know God is up to something. I feel it in my spirit. I've been feeling it all day. And I am expecting him Amen. to show up. Amen. I'm expecting him to do just what Amen. he said. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so at this time, uh, Minister David, I'm I'm sorry. I just, I took the floor. Please forgive me. Um, I had to say what the Lord gave me. But um, I'm, I'm going to turn it back over to you. Amen. You are, you are over the floor to anybody that ain't there to speak. I'll wait for that. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise Him. This was awesome, 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 awesome. Praise like the Lord. I, said, uh, I don't know. I think Brother David was going off to come back on, but um, this was confirmation because this is the same word that I gave on Sunday. Uh, but yeah. in the word that I gave on Sunday, I had two more words. And it's called identity and destiny. And so when you put identity, purpose, and destiny together, you better know that the enemy is mad at you and he's going to chase you down until he gets you. Because in this season, the purpose, the identity, and the destiny, it all, it all goes together. It all goes together. And when you know with an assurance and with an certainty, who you are, you know the purpose and the plan that God has for your life, and you stand on those three words. There's nothing that God isn't going to do because that's what the purpose was for, to line you up for those three things. But now this is why the enemy is attacking you because of the value that you are in God's kingdom. All of y'all on this line have value. God don't bring nothing here that don't have value or don't have purpose. Amen. And he said in Ecclesiastes 3, one, for there is a time, a place, a purpose, and a season for everything under the heaven. Now, if, he, if you came here and your purpose was to do evil, that's your purpose for that season. We don't know. If you came here and your purpose was to get people saved, that's your purpose for that season. And so what you say here tonight, amen, everybody needs to know right now what your purpose is. Because like Pastor Simpson just said, if you don't know what's coming down the pipe, you're going to be jacked up because some stuff is coming down the pipe for reward and then some stuff is coming down the pipe for, for uh, 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 punishment. You see what I'm saying? So you don't know who you are and what's going on. You're going to get jacked up. So I admonish you on this line tonight, if you don't know, get to know your purpose. Ask God, God, what am I to do? What what you need me to do for this season? And like she said, sit still and get the full instructions. Because I don't know if y'all been watching the news, but Revelation is being brought right in front of our eyes. They didn't bombed up Israel, y'all. 
Oh, she and Yes, God is coming to fulfill the promises and give the, the, the rewards and the blessings. But look at all that is happening around us. So your purpose, whatever your purpose is and your identity and your destiny, get to know it because you got to be ready. So that word tonight, it just blessed me. And, and I thank God because it's confirmation. I'm telling you, we just talked about it on Sunday. And I was like, wow, here he go talking about it again. I said, God, I thank you. And don't be afraid of the enemy. My apostle told us that the devil don't even have keys to his own house. Remember, Jesus snatched his keys. So don't give him your power. Don't give him nothing. Hallelujah. When he show up, and, and I'm just going to give you an example. He showed up on me today. And I almost gave in. I said, oh, wait a minute. I know my identity. I know my purpose. And I know my destiny. And I just went in coming down the road to work. Because the attack and the warfare, oh, it's real. But when you know who you are in God, lift up your head and keep running this race. Hallelujah. And I, I even stopped praying for a minute because, oh, my God, God was just over here speaking and moving. Brother David, get ready. You are about to be kicked up out of there. You are about to be kicked up out of the lion's den. Because now you know who you are. God had to sit you still for a minute. And it's so ironic. Every time we come up here, we talk about you on these Tuesdays. Because this is who it's for. And God said, when you have been stupid, you will go back and get your brothers and your sisters. So think it not strange that you had to sit in that place for a minute. But God was preparing you. And now he said when he let you go this time. Don't forget where you came from. And keep running. And do what he told you to do. And this time you are going to do what he told you to do. Because this, this was a different set. This, this setting was different. I'm the shot. I give God glory, and I thank you for that word. Thank you for allowing the Lord to use you. Amen. Amen. I thank I thank you because as I was sitting here, and as I was praying, the Spirit told me to stop and write Jesus that word. Somebody's on court, on, on a living court. I didn't know where it was. Come on. Before. I didn't understand. But it says somebody's on a living course. I, I don't know who. Somebody. I don't know if it's me. I don't on, know God. if it's God says somebody on a living course. See, come on. Wait a minute. I couldn't hear what you said. Minister David, can you say that again? I couldn't hear you. Somebody's on a somebody's on a living course. Somebody may have guessed me is about the front seat, and it's going to be in Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. Anyone else? Anybody How? else? Powerful. Powerful. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise Him, everybody. Oh, praise Him. Um, <laughs> hey, hey uh, listen. So, praise um, the Lord. I'm, 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 praise the I'm not too long ago. I'm getting in for work, so I got in and I jumped right on the prayer line, and um, and on the same wow, um, what what was just said about the men just kind of like blew my mind. Um, I, I, kept, I, I was touching, I was very touched to bus this morning, um, to work, and I encountered two men, um, in the 7-Eleven where I kept the bus at, and these two men are in the 7-Eleven all the time, but on this morning, we was able to have, have a conversation, and so, in, in talking, um, 
I, I had said to one of the young men, because he told me, he said, listen, he said, I've been out of jail. I've been out of jail for a year, but I've been clean for six months. And so I began to celebrate him being clean. And so then the other man, the older man, he said, I was a truck driver. He said, and I lost everything, and I've been clean for two years. And so I began to get oh happy. Um, I, I began to get happy, and as we were talking, another man walked up and joined the conversation. And, and it, made, it just made my heart leap when I just heard what was said about, about Brother David. I just said this morning, that, that God is about to put the men back in the houses. Yeah. I, I, I said yeah. it. Like, I, I, ju I just said it. And so, in our conversation, one of the men said to me, he said, well, well, why do you say that? I said, because we need y'all. Amen. We need y'all. Yes. We talk all the time about how we need our mothers. And a lot of times we forget like even if even if our fathers is not in our lives, we we still need them. Amen. Because without them, there would be no us. Amen. And so I got, I got to thinking. I got I got to thinking about about my own situation um, and the things that I've been encountering. And so I was walking. We were walking across the street, and I think they probably thought I was a little bit crazy because I, I said to God, I said, God. If there was a man in the house who knew you, who followed you, who understood you, that can rule the house, then a lot of stuff that went on in my life, a lot of stuff that's going on in people's lives, come life on, wouldn't go on. Come on, amen. Mm. And so mm -hmm. hearing that, it kind of like it just gave me confirmation to what. With the Lord with and the Lord and the men was having to talk. So I I I I pray that, that the chains are loose. Amen. I pray that the cell is open. Amen. Because we need we need the men. Yes. We we, we need the men. Yes. I said online last night. Amen. I said I got I got I got some good some good strong men who I know is living the right way for Christ that I need them to start talking. Because we need to hear what they got to say. Yes. We, we need to hear. And I, I look at my children and I say, I say, listen, my sons went and went down the road. Although, you know, they may be doing good, but it was some times where they had some bumps in the road. But there was no real men. There was no men of God. There was nobody really around them to sit them down and to tell them, listen. Yeah. This is how we going to do it here. You know, Amen. Dad, there's really no men around the street. I do it is to say, listen, I'm going to touch you on your first day. And on this day, we're going to talk about Jesus. Yeah. We're going to talk about how things are supposed to go. Mm. And so I, 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 thank, I, I, thank, God, I thank God for that. Mm -hmm. I, I, we, we need our men. Yes. Amen. We, yes. We, 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 need, we need our men. Yes. And we, we, need, we need strong men. We need, yeah. we need, we need men who is um, going to seek instructions from God and not take down when we try to take over. Come on here. Say that again. Yeah. Yes, yes. We need the men of God, the strong men of God, that's not going to take down when we try to take over. Yes, yes. We we need we need we need the men. We 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 need we, we need we need them. We need them. I, I know I know a lot of stuff in my life wouldn't have went the way it went. If if I had a had that godly man example, that godly male um guidance. And I keep saying godly because we need God we don't just need we don't I, I mean I, I thank God for the thug. But right about now we don't need another thug. We don't need another one. We don't need another thug. Mm -hmm. We don't. We, we, we need to be flat-footed. That's going to tell their family, look, on Tuesday, we have the Bible study at home. Yeah. We're going to pray. We're going to do this. This, what this we is doing. not going to go on. And so that, that's all I got to say. So I, I, thank God, I thank God for that. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Is there another? Hallelujah. Don't be shy, y'all. Minister David has to call. Um, he's going to call us right back. I'll be so glad when this is over. Amen. We can just keep rolling and doing what God is telling us Amen. to do. Hallelujah. It's coming. Amen. Yes, Amen. it's coming. Amen. Thank God. It's coming. Hallelujah. Praise him, Sister Alexis. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I done grabbed hold of your voice already. <laughs> Amen. All right. Yeah. I just thank God. This is this is Renee. Sister Renee. Yes, ma'am. Um, how y'all doing? I'm just thanking God that, you know, that I'm that we able to come together. Hello. You have a prepaid call. You will not be charged for this call. This call is from David Fire. An inmate at a Maryland Correctional Facility. This call will be recorded and monitored. If you wish to block any future calls, thank you for using. Please charge the battery if low. And you one of them kids that would drive the church. Mm. So we you know, always there. So I just thank God for doing his life now. Even behind those prison walls because in this time come, he's gonna lose them, he's gonna lose them. Amen. And we lose them, he's gonna let them go. And it's gonna be all about Jesus. They're gonna yes. be about Jesus, David. Yes. It's gonna be all about yeah. Jesus. Hallelujah. So I thank God for my yeah. nephew that he continue to strengthen him and keep him. Because he didn't kept him this far. Yes. He, he didn't kept him. All oh, he even kept him. He had a praying grandmother, great grandmother, all that once and all. But now he has to realize that he has to realize that he had to live for Christ and not for people. Amen. And, he, and we all gonna have to go to God on our own. He not going with his mother, his grandmother, aunts or none of them. He's gonna go before God on his own. So I'm just so glad he know God for himself. Yes. And he don't have, and he don't, you know, he not out there just in print and Lord. So he went in, he, he was saved. So I know God, I really got a hold of him now. Amen. So I just thank God for that. Hallelujah. <laughs> Minister David, you back, and right? Me, you know, Amen. Me, Hallelujah. And meeting, you know, and meeting your husband and then you to keep carrying on the uh, prison ministry. Amen. Yes. Because he knew, he knew, you know, that y'all need, you know, we needed this. Yes. Yes. Not just for them too, but for all those who are behind the prison wall. Amen. You know, I'm going to tell y'all, I, I, um, when Minister David told me, you know, that he had heard the prayer, um, one night he was sitting next to my husband. Um, it was at that moment that God showed me, um, that my husband like he does things like behind the scenes um and a lot of stuff that he does like he does not make me aware because i didn't know until david told me that he had you know gave out the information um and even just recently he said to me um i said to him i said babe i've been posting everything for you to be able to see it it's on youtube and he was like okay i said you know it's a lot of people watching the views i mean watching the videos on your um channel more than mine he said, yeah, because I told everybody. And I was just like, what? <laughs> but I thank God that he is, he's spreading the gospel. Amen. And even when I don't know, because it's not, I don't need to know, but I'm just saying, even when I don't know, he's sharing the gospel. He's telling people, listen, this is, this our ministry. Listen to it. Um, you know, my brother on there, uh, we got prayer going on. Like he is spreading it. Even where he is, you know, waiting to come home to be able to really be a part, you know. Um, and so I'm grateful to God for that. I thank God for um, the connection and, and even the love um, that we have, you know, for David. Um, we never imagined. <laughs> we never imagined that God was going to do this. But I'm so glad that he did. Amen. I thank God for everything that he's done and, and how he connected us, you know. 
um, you know, God, he know what he's doing. It's all a part of the plan. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So is there another, anybody else have anything they want to say? Minister David, are you there? I'm here. I'm here. Oh, okay. I'm here. I, you're supposed to be doing this, not me. Um, don't uh, let me keep taking over. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. Hey, listen. Um, first, let me let me get back to the six seven people off the day. Uh, the six seven or the uh -huh. Wait a minute, we can't hear you, David. Oh, uh, okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. So for the for the lady that was speaking before on the neighbor people, uh, she was talking about the fathers in the house. Uh, this is one of the scriptures that I I I can't to go back to a lot. It says, Children, obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right. Find thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou may live long on the earth. Then it says the most what I consider one of the most important things. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up yeah. in the nursery, yeah. in the admonishment of the Lord, in the training yeah. and the admonishment of the Lord. Fathers got to get yeah. back. Fathers got to get back. To. That's why it is important yeah. to a man of God in the house. Amen. Because the father yeah. needs to train yeah. the children up in the way they should go. I'm learning as, yeah. I, as I'm, in, I'm in ministering to some friends of mine. And they have children. They they said that one of them, uh, they got a boyfriend, and and, and it's cool. But I had to her that she has to uh, let him be the man and stop letting the children mean unto her because then you will take his power away. And if he knows God, once he, if he gets to know God, he'll be able to train them up in the way that they should go. But if you don't know God, you can't raise your children up the way they should go. Because you don't have nothing to talk. You can't tell them nothing. Right. So now we got to get you home. If we don't let them, and, I, and I'm sorry to use this way to say it, but for too long we've been had letting them enemies raise our children, and it's time to get back to letting God raise our children. Please charge Amen. the battery Amen. and Amen. slow. And got to be the authority to bring well, I, I, I stand in, 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 in agreement with everything she said, and I agree with her, because I see this for myself a time, even though I had a man in the house, it was probably been a different ball. Amen. If I had a man in the house, it would have been a different ball. If I had a man in the house, it would have been a different ball. If I had a man in the house, it would have been a different ball. I was raised by all women. I was never raised by a man. I've never seen a man of God. I've seen a man Yes. Amen. Mm. My God. So I, I have a question, Minister David. You said the person that you were ministering to, she had a boyfriend? Therefore, 
Okay, but what I'm asking is, so so it's a boyfriend. Is it the children's father? No, it's not the children's father. Okay, so so let's let's bring some clarity to this because we can't. The Bible says that God honors marriages, right? If it was the children's father, it would be something different. He don't honor that shacking up stuff. So it's kind of hard. Yeah. It's kind of hard to try to teach her about him being a man or the head of her household because it's he can't be the head unless he uh, decides he's going to make her his wife. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? So right and so so in in this instance she's not technically wrong because they're not his children now if she was with the children's father and she tried to overstep that's something different because it says fathers don't provoke your children they're not his kids amen so and, and i say that because we don't want to we don't want to teach people wrong and make them think that what they're doing is right if if you shacking up with him first of all you wrong because that ain't it ain't biblical at all now let me tell you we all have done it but that ain't what god is honoring he ain't honoring it um and so you know um it take it took me a while to get to get here but i'm here <laughs> you know what i'm saying but i just i wanted to bring clarity to that because we don't want to we don't want to teach people wrong biblically it says fathers don't provoke your children that that's for the parents it's not for a boyfriend that come in and trying to help out the, it, he don't count if truth be told right right exactly now if he's saying i'm gonna make her my wife and then that situation happened. Then he does come in. He steps in as the father. And so, yeah, you don't want to overstep that. But if that ain't taking place, then, yeah, she, she right about what she did. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Is there another... Amen. If nobody else has anything they'd like to share, we're turning it back over to Minister David for final remarks. Amen. And to close us out. This was good tonight, y'all. I'm going to close out with Romans 8. Um, the end of Romans 8. I'm going to start at the 12th verse. And I'm going to start at the 12th Amen. 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 Amen.
is good and able, Father God, is due to the glory and praise of Father God. Because, oh, Father God, this day was not possible without you, oh, Father God. This last hour or two was not possible without your presence, oh, Father God. Father God, we thank you, oh, Father God, for every great that took place. We thank you right now, oh, Father God, for every healing that took place. We thank you, oh, Father God, for every person that gets that that's on the boat with their purpose and their destiny in this lifetime. Father God, we thank you, oh, Father God, because our identity is in you. And, oh, Father God, we know that with you, oh, Father God, we can do all things, oh, Father God. Father God, so right now, in the name of Jesus, we depart from the mind, oh, Father God. We ask, oh, Father God, that your spirit, oh, Father God, will still be words in our hearts, oh, Father God, that every prayer, oh, Father God, will be filled in each believer heart, oh, Father God, each person heart, oh, Father God, that, oh, Father God, we will receive, oh, Father God, the increase, oh, Father God, of what you want from us from this night, from every day, oh, Father God, of our lives. Father God, continue to visit when our lives, oh, Father God, we be with us there the Holy Spirit, and that, oh, Father God, that we will see every soul, oh, Father God, that no soul will be lost, oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh, Father God. Father God, we love you, we praise you, and we magnify you, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Amen. We thank God. Amen. We thank God for each and every one of y'all on tonight. Amen. I pray, amen, that y'all got something um, from everything that went forth on tonight. We thank God for everyone that connected with us. Amen. Um, we appreciate you. We love you. We adore you. If you are free tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., we will be with Elder Carter for the gathering. Amen. Then we'll be back Friday morning at 7 a.m. with Elder Carter again for the gathering. Um, that evening, Friday evening, 7 p.m. is fire on the altar. Amen. If you are free, please, 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 please join us on the, one of these platforms. Amen. On Saturday at 12 noon, we have prayer with Apostle Charlene Marshall. And then can somebody say, Why Women Cry, Saturday at 7 p.m.? We will be, is it Saturday? Yes, the 14th. Hallelujah. Why Women Cry. Amen. <laughs> it's We got so much going on, y'all. I It's hard to keep up. Amen. But I'm trying. But we will be on um, Zoom Saturday at 7 p.m. If you are free, please join us. Amen. You don't want to miss Saturday. There is so much that God has been pouring into his women for us to share on Saturday. Um, and I'm excited about what's getting ready to take place. Amen. Um, Y'all keep me in prayer. I start back to work tomorrow. I am excited. Amen. Um, to get back in there and, and do, you know, um, what I need to do to cover my bills and all that good stuff. Amen. I thank God um, for, for everything that he's done and everything that he is doing. Amen. And I anticipate a move of God for each and every one of y'all. Amen. And so I thank y'all again. Y'all have a wonderful Amen. night. Just know that I love y'all and there is absolutely nothing you can do about it. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all have a good night. Be blessed, everybody. Love y'all. Good night. Hallelujah, everybody. We thank you so much for tuning in. Amen. That is our Bible study on tonight. Amen. I pray that you heard something. Amen. That blessed you on tonight. Please join us back. We'll be here Friday. Fire on the altar. Amen. With prayer. Amen. Pastor Simpson, that is me. Um, I will be on here. Have a wonderful night. Know that I love each and every one of y'all. And there is absolutely nothing you can do about it. Be blessed now.